All right, so here's a cool new feature that was just added in uh, January of this year, and it's called our Feature Inspection Summary Table. So if you're using GDNT and you want a really clear and concise way to report out all of your GDNT feature checks and whether they pass or fail with additional information, a great way to do that is just to right click on the Feature Checks category and select Create Inspection Summary Table. And when you do that, you'll get a selection dialog that pops up and you can select some or all of your feature checks that are available in your file. And once you've selected those, you can just hit OK. And SA will create this new category that's called Custom Report Tables. And if you expand that Custom Report Tables category, you get your Feature Check Summary Table. So just to see what that looks like in, um, in a report in SA, um, I'll just add that to a report really quickly. And this is what the table looks like. So in this example, you get your feature check name, you get the symbol, the GDNT specific symbol, your tolerance, any additional spare, special characters like regardless of feature size, maximum material condition, um, number of occurrences, you get your high and low tolerance along with all the datums that the feature is connected to. Obviously your pass fail results are in there, your measured deviation and your distance outside of your tolerance. And then the last frame here is a special frame that shows you exactly which direction um, that feature is off. So for a true position, what we do is we just consolidate it to the X and Y axes and then we just give you a little direction indicator with eight different um, quadrants or um, areas that the direction indicator can be in. And that just gives you a real quick overview um, so you can see if all of your features are off in the same direction. Maybe you have a bad alignment or maybe you need to go back and look at the datums or something like that as well. So feature inspection summary table is a new feature in SA and it can make reporting out GD&T really quick and simple.